Take care. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, in one treatment like this, I cannot do very much. But what I think, what I, I try is to relax you very deeply, so that you can feel the energy okay. moving. Okay. And I think if you have that realization, that's. that's yes, that's very, important. That, that's, that's very important. If I cannot do much more than that, if you take that with you, that that will be very good. Absolute to so make it. It's polarity because you move the energy from positive to negative all the time. Okay. So everything in the universe is uh, this movement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Without that movement, there is no life. So it's always, it has to be uh, in the body from positive to negative. So when uh, you have a problem, there is a, an imbalance. Uh, the energy cannot go through. And that part star starts like 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 going stagnant, and this is and pain starts right. to occur. But it's always first at uh, energy level where yes. the problem starts. Okay. Okay. So what we try to do is to balance, and if it's a patient, you have a patient for a long time. It's uh, this is only a very small part of the treatment. Okay. You okay. Have to, you have to work a lot yourself if you want to be well. Yes, I agree with that. Because there is not magic. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Magic doesn't exist. <laughs> yes, exactly. You have to, uh, well, like uh, you would think, if you go to a hospital, they operate on you and they give you some tablets and then you are well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not true. No, it's you not. Have <clears throat> the root of, the, of your problem has not been dealt with. Mm -hmm. So it will come up perhaps as something else and, and mm -hmm. something else. But if you don't treat it yourself from the root, it's going to be recurrent. Absolutely. <clears throat> so that's why I don't have any patients. Right. Because I say, well, I'm going to help you with this. It's, it's important. The mm -hmm. manipulation mm -hmm. is important. But you are going to review your diet, your <laughs> exercise, <laughs> right, right. your mental attitudes. Mm -hmm. If you are into spiritual things, we'll have to deal with that as well. Yes. And uh, the exercise is very important. So yes. I, okay. I teach people to do some exercises. Uh, we have some polarity exercises, but I am very much into chin and chikung. Yes, okay, okay. <clears throat> it's like... <coughs> uh, <clears throat> just with chin and chikung, you can treat anything. Interesting. It's very interesting. I have I have met lots of people who have been. Uh, they're going to die. Yes. They okay. They cannot move. They're in a wheelchair and that. And with chin and chikung, they have recovered completely. That's fascinating. Yeah. So huh. these we have with the ex the chikung exercises and changing your diet. Um, well. <laughs> it makes a huge yeah. difference. I I've heard some miraculous things. About qigong, yes, yes. It's, it's no miracle. Yeah, right. Well, no, no. Because it's uh, well, uh, there is some a Chinese, a very advanced uh, Chinese man who developed all this technique. Okay. Uh, he was a traditional doctor, well, not traditional, uh, orthodox, um, an orthodox. Okay, okay. Like uh, in the hospital with medicines and all that. And he, okay. He was really very good at that, but he thought that this is not it. So he started looking into alternative Chinese alternative medicine. Huh. He went into that and he found Qigong. And then he went, he left everything and she concentrated on Qigong because he, he thought this is the answer. And he right. developed all these uh, series of exercises. Like uh, these people who were there, they were practicing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Huh. Okay, we well, took I... a course together, and then, uh, now we meet and we do all the exercises together. <laughs> oh, how neat! Huh. Yeah, because you have to, if you really want to to get well, if you are very ill, you have to practice all the time. Yeah, th yes, I've read about cancer patients in China. I think it was. Yes. Where they work, they do qigong, qigong, uh -huh. uh, five or so hours a day yeah. to heal, and it works. For them, yes. yes. So there was there was a big hospital, like for 4,000, 5,000 5, people. And they didn't have a doctor, they didn't have medicines. They only taught people how to do these exercises. And huh. all day they practiced. They only ate and 
have little breaks, but the rest of the time they practiced and they... Where was this? In Beijing. Okay. Ah, or near Beijing. Really? How interesting. I want to see that place. <laughs> <laughs> Closed. It's closed. Oh, no. no. Closed it. Oh. But uh, yes, it, because when it started working really well, other people wanted to do it. Yeah. And other people started doing it, and it was I don't know what happened. Um, they pro- probably a certain group of people probably made it stop because uh, they weren't able to make as much money they, or something. The, the doctor, doctor Pang, decided to close the hospital. Huh. Uh, he has some some students. Some of his students are teaching. Oh, okay. Teaching now, but mainly to foreigners, like Chinese people, became a bit uh, I mean, afraid of that because of the not because of the technique itself, but all the problems around it. Huh. So, okay. In Mexico, I think it's the highest population who are doing chikungunya outside mean, outside China. Wow. Really, in Mexico? Huh. Huh. I because did not I, know that. There was a, a very sick young man with money. He went all over the world trying to get better, and he couldn't. And he couldn't. And he, he went to China, and he, from being almost dead, he recovered. Huh. I, wrote that, I think to California, and then he came to Mexico. Okay. And now there, some of his students have uh, are instru- instructors as well. So okay. It's uh, it's something really wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can look at, at the page. I'll give you the page. Yeah, so, I would love that if you yeah, because would. The, yes. The central thing is is a chi. Which they don't like. They don't like us calling it energy because they say it, it's not energy. It is before energy. Okay. Like, like okay. That, that that void, where huh. all life started in that void, and that void exists everywhere in your and in yourself. And from there, the chi comes to form things, and there are different types of chi. Okay. Um, huh. And so when you start doing you start doing your exercises, you. Uh, like you send your mind to the universe and collect that chi and bring it to your body. Okay. So your meridians. Right. Uh, why then? And you have more chi, and that chi is what is going to heal you. Okay. So everything huh. is is, is uh, designed for you to bring chi in. Into okay. Your body. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. And it's uh, I like it because you are working with uh, I don't know the uh, the main thing in the universe. It's a what? The main you are working with the most. Uh, the, you are the uh, uh, the basic thing. Yes, I know what you're trying to say, and I'm not able to come up with the word either. The <laughs> yeah. primal thing, the first yeah. thing. Yes, no. yes. Yeah, the, 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 the origin of all things. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. And that is what heals you and balances you. <sighs> okay, so that's an interesting thought. It's very interesting, yes. Hmm. Uh, after that, meditation and yoga and things like that. Like, uh, sure. Lose importance. Uh, that's interesting yeah. that that's actually that's really interesting yeah. i really did a lot of yoga for a long time and i i felt like it actually i actually ended up with a lot of back pain from it at, over many years i stopped doing it recently and i took up qigong <laughs> and i my thought was you know i could i could teach qigong to people no matter what their age i could do this yeah. no matter what age i am it's, it's very gentle in comparison it's qigong. very gentle yeah well, yeah. uh, depend, depending on the, on the level. Mm-hmm. The of first, course, okay. Uh, the first level, it's designed to make you better. Okay. Physically, to cure you. Right. And once you, your body is, is healed, and, in, and you, have, you know how to store chi, okay. uh, then you go on to a higher level, and that becomes more difficult physically. Huh. But you are prepared for it. You're, mm-hmm. you're like, you're right. Strong. That makes sense, okay. Yeah. So huh. it's, it's very gradual, and only you, you know when you're ready for the next level. That makes sense, too. Yeah. Yes. So it's very, very interesting. So I... That has helped me for polarity, because I learned polarity in London many years ago. In London? Oh, okay. Many, many years ago, I think, when it was in fashion. 
Okay, okay. Now I think you know, no, no, not many people have heard about polarity. Mm -mm, nope. But I haven't, I haven't practiced properly because the difficulty in getting people to do it 